Hey aphrodisiacs, it's me Khadija. So if you're new to my channel, then please hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, then welcome back. Okay guys, so today we're going to be trying out the Myel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner. Right now, my hair is in shambles. The shampoo that I just used, which you guys will have already seen that video, because this one isn't going to be up until like maybe two weeks later, but... This is right after that shampooing session. I'll leave the video up top and also down below. It was not a good experience. If you guys saw the video, you already know. So I need to pretty much rescue my hair at this point. And I'm hoping that this deep conditioner is going to provide my hair with both moisture and slip because that's what my hair is going to need. So I picked this up during Black Friday. Everything was $5, so the sale was excellent. So the ingredients, I'm seeing avocado oil, shea butter, olive oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, sesame oil. So this is supposed to be like a moisturizing deep conditioner. It actually suggests that you leave this in your hair overnight, but I'm not gonna do that. I have high porosity hair. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I have high porosity hair and my hair is very prone to moisture overload. So I typically leave my deep conditioners in for 15 minutes and that's sufficient enough. I'm ready to deep condition you guys. Pray for me in the comments. Put the prayer hands in the comments because I'm really hoping that this deep conditioner works for me and like performs miracles on my hair. Alright you guys, so this is how we're starting out. My hair was definitely getting more tangled and more dry as it started to dry. So I'm just going to spritz it with some water and start to add a generous amount of the deep conditioner. Now in the jar, this doesn't really look or feel like a super thick deep conditioner. But once you apply it to your hair, it definitely coats your strands. Like it sits on top, it's super white, it's a thick deep conditioner. So I'm just applying this to my hair and you can see my straight face. I'm not really feeling it too much because I don't feel any real moisture right now and there's definitely no slip. So I'm just gonna continue to apply this and it's just applying like lotion, very thick and not really penetrating, but I'm still being optimistic because we haven't deep conditioned with heat and of course this can turn around and be a fantastic deep conditioner after applying heat. So I'm just too strong twisting my hair. I didn't even bother finger detangling before heat because I really couldn't because it was so thick. So I'm just applying a generous amount onto my hair, twisting it, and then I'm going to apply my shower cap and my heat therapy wrap in deep condition for 15 minutes. Alright, so this is my hair right after deep conditioning with heat and you can kind of see that it penetrated a little bit like in the roots and towards the middle of my hair shaft but at the ends it's still very white the product didn't really absorb too much and also as I'm trying to finger detangle it's really difficult my back section is usually the easiest to finger detangle but I was still struggling here and it wasn't as easy as it is with other deep conditioners and you can see this middle section my cuticles are really raised and crazy very tangled and there was just no way that I was gonna get through this section with this deep conditioner I did try I took my time but it was very difficult and so what I ended up doing was just rinsing the deep conditioner out without fully finger detangling and this is my hair after rinsing out the deep conditioner it looks pretty good but stay tuned to hear my final thoughts okay guys I'm back from rinsing out the my L overnight conditioner from their Hawaiian ginger collection this was just like a failed wash day like my pre-poo my overnight pre-poo that I did with coconut oil that went okay but like the shampoo and now the deep conditioner this was just not a good wash day for me you guys saw me applying the product it just sat on my hair and I was kind of like figuring that's why they say to leave it on overnight because it will not penetrate. After I did leave the product in for 15 minutes, it still looked white in my hair. Like it still looked like it hadn't really penetrated. So that was weird. As for detangling, the slip was just non-existent. I was struggling to get through my hair. I'll try to show you guys some sections that are still tangled. Maybe, for instance, this section. And you can see my cuticles are frizzy. They're not smooth. They're still frizzy. This part is tangled. If I just pull it apart, you guys will see it was tangled. You guys see that? 
right here I feel like there's a knot there you guys can see that knot so this did not detangle my hair whatsoever the one positive thing I have to say about it is that it's extremely moisturizing after rinsing it out as I was rinsing this out my hair felt moisturized and now touching my hair and stuff it feels like pillow soft it feels very moisturized so I could only imagine how soft your hair would probably feel if you leave this in overnight so would I use this product again or would I repurchase it is the AK approved I'm gonna say no to all the above the moisture on this product is very good I will give it that but you know what else is good this right here the tgin thank god it's natural honey miracle hair mask this is like a moisture based deep conditioner it has honey olive oil all that good stuff and guess what this has a fantastic slip so why would i struggle detangling my hair with this when i can use this and immediately applying it it has amazing slip why would I use this? Alright you guys, so I just put my hair up in my turby twist. I realized I didn't do an outro. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Feel free to share this video. And of course, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.